Instagram influencers, Facebook ads, saturated products, and not saturated products. Let's jump straight into my computer, and I'll show you guys exactly how you can be successful in Q4. Okay, guys, what's up? We're in my computer, and I have one big announcement today. I'm going to be taking one of you guys and partner up on a store with me personally. All you need is some money for the ad spend, and we'll definitely get you to where you want to be. So if you want to win that chance of getting a store, doing it with me, just a full 50-50 partnership. You could just write a comment down in the description and maybe it will be you because not a lot of people commenting. And that's a golden opportunity, guys. Don't waste it. Like the video. Comment, I want to win the giveaway or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. But if you want to win, just make sure I know that you want to win, okay? So yeah, we're in my computer right now and we're gonna compare all of these ones. Let's just don't waste any time. Let's get into it, okay? Instagram influencers or Facebook in oh I wrote more wrong. Facebook influencers. Instagram influencers or Facebook ads. That's what I meant to say there. What's profitable and what's consistent? We all know that influencers would not be consistent, right? And maybe it could be a hit or miss just to do influencers in general. This is just a subcategory on how you can be successful in Q4, right, guys? You, you need to know these things first, right? Um, there will be a golden tip right down here. I'll always put this one in just my basic testing strategies. You guys can apply that one because... You want to get to this point without doing this. You can do it different ways, though. I don't say you got to do exactly this one, but you want to do something similar, right, to get to this point, okay? So make sure you stay tuned to the end. I'll show you that tip. Definitely a good one. Um, so yeah, we're in the Instagram influencers category right now, right? So they're not consistent, and it could be hit or miss, right? <laughs> But you see the same people every single time posting with the same influencers. I, I don't have any exact names, but I've seen influencers all the time promoting these AirPods or whatever. Then I don't really think it will be a hit or miss. Then I will believe that you got some good influencers that is actually consistent, right? But it's still a hit or miss, right? So if you want to do influencers, I recommend going with like... I recommend going with personal brands. Um, let's just say like Jake Paul, Logan Paul. Uh, Justin Bieber. I mean like all of these ones are probably way too high, but you just you, you, you get where I'm going, right? You can do a small one, right? I recommend that. I recommend really funny pages with a lot a lot of engagements. I don't really remember doing let's say a dog neckle or a a dog poop pick upper. I don't rem I, I don't really recommend doing that on a dog page. I don't really think it works too good anymore. But I believe in building the skill of Facebook ads, learning exactly how to do Facebook ads, because it will reward you so much in the future. You could do other people's ads. I do that a lot. People pay me a lot to do other people's ads. But I'm also getting paid a lot to do my own ads for my own stores, right? So that's a skill you need to build it. It's so, so profitable. And I believe it's just way better than um, Instagram influencers. I don't even do any influencers, but I've done it. Should you do saturated products or should you do um, untapped products? That's also a good one, right? So let's compare them really quick. Saturated products, they often tend to have lower ROAS. Everyone can get a piece of it. But the good thing about it is that you can find other people's videos, right? Because there's also a lot of people that's already done it, right? But you have a lot of competitors when you're doing something of, like that because everyone can get a piece of it, right? That's why you will get... Oh, f yeah, that's why you will get a lot of competitors, but it's often good shipping times and suppliers because there's a high demand for this product, right? So I'll tell you why it's low ROAS and what's bad with it, right? So we can put it like you're owning a cake, right guys? So this is the cake. That is the cake, right? And just 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 stay tuned here. I'll show you. That is the cake, right? And this cake is related to this one and the low ROAS one, okay? So just watch this. If you compare saturated to untapped products, you'll see that untapped products are innovative and higher ROAS and less competition. But this one, you're the trendsetter. The trendsetter is the guy making this cake, right? He makes the cake. So everyone that's doing saturated products, they can get, let's say they can get, they can get a piece of it, right? And if this is 500K, then you could get whatever, how many K that is, you know, 70K, whatever, right? So you can get a piece of it, right? This is the whole cake. The, this cake is owned by the guy doing untapped products, right? This innovative guy, the trendsetter, not the trend jumper, is owning the cake. 
that is the cake but the persons that's jumping on it can get a piece of it doing saturated products is jumping on whatever already works can get a small piece of the cake but that's why i recommend innovating stuff it's just uh, been way way better for me less competition and the raw has been way higher i'll tell you why because you are the guy to buy from you're not you're not just pushing out things that people have seen all over again so many times you're not just constantly just pushing out the same thing and that's why your ROAS also will be higher right so it's way better to just own the product but it's obviously a little bit harder but I see a lot of people testing saturated product usually doesn't even work out that is me that is how I do it I've had a really really good ROAS doing that uh, up to like 30 honestly and we have but the most common we have like anywhere from 6 to 12 but we could get up in 20 as well but i've had 30 like i said okay so the facebook ad strategies when you're testing a product even though it's untapped or it's not untapped i do seven ad sets seven interests five dollar a day each ad set four page posts or four ad copies that's the same thing right the page post is where you put in like time to not snore anymore buy my cool product and we'll solve your problem link in description go here buy 24 hour free shipping whatever something like that that is the page post right so you want to set up seven ad sets once you have one you just duplicate the original assets until you have seven and until you have seven interests one interest in each don't do any engaged shoppers really you could normally sometimes people i work with would do one engaged shoppers out of the seven but i in most cases i'll just do zero engaged shoppers because if you really have a good product and people really like it it won't really be a need to be an engaged shopper to buy it they see it they want it and they will buy it and then they will have it right so once you got these things upcoming you will get into the scaling far not the scaling part but the scaling part right once you're in the scaling part you will start seeing that you have a couple of ad sets and before even thinking about scaling make sure you have at least one ad set doing over two sales you don't want different ad set with one sale that's good but you want to have at least maybe let's say you have one ad set with one sale and then you have another one with one sale and then you have one with two sales that is really really good but if you also have one with one one with one and one with three that is even better right and if you if you get like in a one 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 situation where they all have one at one uh, one sale you should just wait and see if it doesn't get you more sales within like two days after the first sale i think it's time to kill it but if it's gotten two sales you you might try to scale it a tiny bit i i don't really think so i'll do i'll do three sales because you could be like but you could do it with two i have done it successfully with two so you're not going to duplicate increased budgets that's just a 50 50 hit or miss right but what you want to be doing you want to take your ad set and then you want to duplicate it and then you can change one metric at a time but before you can do that, I recommend adding one ad set and deleting one ad set every single day. So you have seven ad sets with seven interests. But if, let's say, your worst ad set, you delete your worst ad set every day. And then you add in a new one, which makes you test more and more interest every single day, right? So you add one and delete one, add one and delete one every single day until you have more interest working for you, more ad sets. And once you got that, you got some sales in each ad set, you start narrowing them down with scaling, right? So first tip is just... Change one metric at a time, right? Change one thing at a time. So what you do is you have your ad set. It's performing decent. So you just go hit the breakdown tab. I can show you how to do it. If you guys want to see inside my ads manager, um, comment it. We could definitely do a cool breakdown video inside my ads manager, but I want to see if it's demand for it, right? So if you guys want to see me in the ads manager, my own one, tell me, okay? So we'll do that. Um, you start narrowing it down, right? Once you have some ad sets with a couple of sales in it, right? So you just change one metric at a time. It could e either be age, gender, platform, device, um, and one more I don't remember right now. Um, but that could be a good one, right? So I usually start with platform, um, but I start with what works, right? If we have two sales on Instagram and two sales on Facebook, I won't start with platform because we, we don't know yet. But if we see that the ages clearly would be... Uh, the ideal ages would be 20 to 45 year olds i would just narrow it down from 18 to 65 which is the standard testing one to 20 to 45 year olds right so then i have the old ad set running which is general and then i have a new one that is just narrowed down by the age and the next day i will have a new one which is narrowed by mobile and the third day i will have one that's uh, narrowed by um platforms right so then i will have three different ad sets they're all narrowed down once they work, I will combine them into a new ad set for $25 a day. And that's where you increase the budget, right? So you have one ad set with each narrowed metric in it. Once all of them work, you combine them into one ad set, right? And then you can get powerful ad sets. You can put them in CVO, whatever you want later. If you guys want in-depth scaling, we do in my ads manager, like I said, 
make sure to smash the like button, comment that you want it, and also the giveaway in the beginning of my video. Don't miss out on that chance. I'll do partner up on the store with one of you guys. So just comment that you want to be my partner on that store and we'll make a lot of money. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave, leave a like and I'll see you guys later.